Welcome to the first in a new series of videos where I go over the work that I've been doing and a few thoughts along the way. So the first one I want to show you is in this little stone paper notebook. And this is where I started realising that it felt like I wasn't really taking things in. I wrote notes here, things aren't always obvious at first, it takes time and a sense of willingness to take it in. And it might not be good but it's here so keep showing up. And I was doing, because most of this book is just uh, heads. It just turned out that way. It didn't start that way, but it turned out that way. And I was having difficulty with drawing these. Each, I even wrote a note. Each time I start drawing, I have no idea how it will turn out. So what do I do? I keep drawing. And that's basically what I did. And then it got worse. And I even wrote down here that I need to figure out. I, I, thought, that, I thought with this one, the problem was the values. But it goes deeper than that. I truly believe it goes deeper than that. And then we have this monstrosity over here, which I had a lot of trouble with the colour pencil, and, and then I did a horse. And I was, as I was doing the horse, I don't know what I was thinking. I didn't know, I hadn't made the decision to focus on anything just yet when I did this horse. Then I did this head here, and it was terrible. I didn't like it at all. That's when I realised that I had been putting it off. I need to focus on just one thing to draw and to learn to draw and really go further into that instead of just going, you know, really shallow in every, in every way. And I didn't want to. I didn't want to do that for the longest time. And I even wrote here, I'm slowly figuring out a plan for the future for my art. Then I did another horse and I realised that, yeah, to start with, to just pick a direction. Because it doesn't matter what direction you take if you don't know where you're going. You just pick a direction. And that's the, the direction that I decided to take. So I just want to read to you a couple of diary entries that led up to this catalyst. I do have the sense that I'm giving up lately. I'm stuck, bored, stagnant and shrinking to fit that space. And it felt like a pattern that I keep doing over and over and over again. And it's not a pattern I want to have for the rest of my life. It's taken me a long time to figure this out. Another entry was, I have little to no structure in my days. No one holds me to account for anything and I can't seem to do it for myself. It feels like everything is an unorganised mess and I have no idea how to find order. Today I feel directionless. Well, most days I do anyway, but I am so sure that there is a path to find. Perhaps many I could take, but I'm unsure and insecure that I can't see it. The constant searching is tiring and it's not helping with my confidence. I do write a lot about what I feel in my diary. Lately, my diary has been a little bit sparse up until a couple of days ago. Well, actually, yeah today, really. <laughs> I've decided that I'm going to use it in a slightly different way. Okay, my next diary entry. After that, I'll read that now. I did some colour pencil drawings this morning and I didn't enjoy the process because I felt I didn't know what to do. I don't have a process for drawing what I can rely on and I think that's what's missing and hindering some, if not all, of my enjoyment. And this is this was the part where I, I wasn't enjoying this. I wasn't enjoying doing the hairs. Okay, so I'll read on. I'm always looking for that reliable set of steps to work through a piece of artwork. And that's the other thing. I have known this for a while, but I'm spreading myself too thin, as you can see. Trying to do, trying to do so many different things. Okay, I'll read on. I don't have a base of work to work from. One day I just do a loose sketch. The next I'm painting with watercolour or gouache, something totally different. So it feels like I have to relearn everything over and over before moving on to the next thing. I don't give myself enough time on one thing to figure out that process. And that process is what I desperately need right now. The thing is, I haven't wanted to give up any of the other things that I do, but I have to. Also, my hand is starting to ache after using the colour pencils, so perhaps painting would be better for longevity. If I limit any kind of pencil work to light loose sketches, it might be okay. But it's hard to choose a subject though, especially as that also includes dropping the long drawings, but then I haven't done the long drawings in a while either. Now I mentioned dropping the long drawings because that's pencil work that I've done. And if I remember, I'll put pictures up on the screen because I don't have them handy with me at the moment because they were done a while ago. The thought of doing a long drawing and then feeling the aching in, in my hand because I feel it across here. Yeah, that kind of put me off. So that's why I thought going into painting might be a little bit better for me instead. So yeah, as I was doing these, I was figuring it out. My next journal entry was, today I spent a lot of time figuring out a pathway for my art. Now that I know what I'm going to do, there is a lot to draw. For the next six months or so, I will be majoring on oil painting horses. 
let's see how this goes. That's the point when I made my decision and making that decision was very difficult, but knowing that I was going to stick to this decision for at least six months actually helped because after six months, I can see where I am and if I want to, I can change my direction. Okay, so then after that, I did a color study. So this is the color study I did in gouache and I wrote in my diary, clearly there are fundamentals I'm missing. <laughs> I'm just not good at it considering how badly my color study went. I'm trying not to take it to heart and instead think of this as the start of my journey on the newer, clearer path. I'm happy that I'm no longer standing still at that junction with a million different directions and not knowing which one to take. Trying to just take a few steps in many directions instead of many steps in one. It reminds me of Alice in Wonderland at the point when she's talking to the Cheshire Cat and she doesn't know which path to take. And he says, well, it doesn't matter. And it doesn't. And that's how I, I got to this. So I'll show you what I've been doing going towards that horse goal. Uh, let me just go back a couple of pages in here. Now this is just a scrapbook. All right, so this was my first page. Once I'd made that decision. Not really understanding the anatomy too well, but just getting started. So that was the first page. Then I did a page of skulls, all in the same direction. And then I tried flipping it, which was really hard. I found that very, very difficult to flip the skulls. And that's why I tried to break it down to basic shapes so I could flip the basic shapes and then draw the skulls inside. But the reason why I did them all in one direction is because I wanted to reinforce that first before I moved on. Then I watched a video uh, showing, showing the anatomy of the skull and I paused the video in different directions and I drew some of that. And then we get into the three quarters from the back and there's one down there from the front. Then I wanted to add some muscle to it. So we go, we come up to this page here it was still working with the skull, trying to figure it out. And I did a couple of, I did a horse there. You, you can see the horse here with my new understanding. Look at the difference between this one and this one, both of them actually. And this one down here as well. So this is with my new understanding. I'm still trying to work out the forms as well because in my head I was thinking, how the hell would I ever flip this? <laughs> So that's why I tried to figure out what the form would be, but I didn't end up trying to flip it because it was too much for my little brain at the time. But yeah, I, th I think there's an improvement there. So then I, I went into more into the muscles of the face and where they connect. I had a bit of trouble understanding certain muscles and how they look because the reference material that I found was either from the side or from the front. There wasn't any real three quarters to give that little bit of better understanding. The muscle that I had the most trouble with was this, the buccinator, which sits underneath. It kind of plumps out the horse's head in this area. And that was the last sketch that I did. I was going to fill up the rest of the page, but I didn't get around to it because my hand was starting to ache. So we go from these drawings, this drawing, to this one. I'm quite happy with that as my improvement. I also did some color studies because like I said, my hand was getting sore. So I'll just show you the, where I've been doing those. This was uh, when I was trying to do this color study, I wanted to figure out where it was going to be on the page, but it wasn't really re relevant because it's supposed to be a color study. So I'd already started muddying the waters in what this was supposed to be. And I think this is, I think that's why this one failed. This one up here. I think that's why this one failed. It looks terrible. So then I threw all of that out. And I did this one. I just did a blob of color. I picked a reference of a painting that I liked and the color colors that they used in that and a reference of a horse. And I combined the two. So I did the color blob and then the horse. And I think that came out a lot better as a color study. But in saying that, I did find myself starting to try and put in little details. And that's besides the point. Anyway. So I tried to do another color study. This is how it came out. It was a bit rougher than this one, but then I realized that because I was losing my purpose of doing the color study, even with this, this is too, 
This is too precious, too far gone, <laughs> too far gone. I went too far. So then I tried to do these cooler studies. So then I just stuck with the color blobs. So the color blobs are probably what I'm going to use um, when I'm mixing. I do this when I'm mixing my colors and then the horse. Again, I pushed it too far. These aren't really color studies. They, they start to move from being color studies and being little mini rough paintings. But that's, that's something that I personally have to work on because I need to learn what it is to do a colour study and when to stop. That's as far as I've been with my horse, my horse journey. So I just want to go back and show you a few pages in this little sketchbook that I used for gouache painting. So this is from a few weeks ago where I was just, before I had made that decision and I was just playing around with a few different things because I didn't know and this is part of the reason why I started to feel that I was directionless and I wasn't really setting myself up for success because I was doing too many things and then I started to do skies clouds just practicing in gouache because I thought maybe I'll just switch up and do a bit of landscape that's what I was thinking I was going to going to do for a little while so those are my clouds I do like this one and then we've got, like I said, I wanted to try and do some landscape, so I had a go at that. I didn't really like that. It just looks like, it just, I didn't like that at all. This one I did like. I en actually enjoyed painting that. And then I thought, well, let's move on to water. So this is where I did a page of studies in water. I did little, little bits. Some of them... Are better than others. Yeah and then I kept going with the water because I was struggling with the water so I just I when I struggle with something I just tend to just I don't know focus on it more. Well, this didn't turn out I think I've shown this before uh, I might have shown it on Instagram <clears throat> and then I did this with the horse I found a reference that I really liked I like this page. This is my favorite page. And then I did this one, which I didn't particularly like and I had a tough time doing. If I'm honest, I had a really tough time doing that one. I actually have that recorded. I have that recorded in one of my paint and chats. The whole, my thinking through it, how I stumbled and tried to pick up the pieces, all of that is on the recording. And then I did this one which I thought was better, but looking at it now, the horse is a little bit washed out. I, I don't know, I, I don't think I really did the horse very well. The water is nice. So this one as well, I have recorded in a paint and chat, the whole process, my thoughts and ideas, problems and, and how I tackled them. And that's when we come to this color study that I hate, that I hate. So that's what I've been up to. It is much better knowing that I, that I have a path, that I have chosen a path. That is the biggest thing I have been putting for years, and I'm not joking when I say for years, I have not wanted to let anything go. And that's part of a problem that I have is letting things, some things go, whether it be a subject to paint or, or you know, an emotion or a way to think or even just my focus. I have a lot of trouble letting go. So this is me working at that. I did put in my diary today that this is about growth because I did start when I did my task list today and I've already shown this in the morning sketch, my task list. As I was writing it out, I've got a diary where I write my basically daily thoughts. And then I have a weekly thing and I was filling that out this morning. And then I went to my today's plan and I started putting the things down that I wanted to do. And I, st I had this feeling in the back, this dread, this feeling of, oh my God, this is so much to do. And it was just a real, a real feeling of being overwhelmed and falling back into a familiar pattern where I just think, oh, you, you got to give it up. you got to just drop everything because you can't handle it. Every time I do that, and I'm talking for years, I have been in this pattern. And by doing that, I'm not allowing myself to grow as a person or as an artist. I'm not allowing myself to grow because I keep cutting myself back. I'm cutting myself back every time I feel it's too much instead of trying to grow from it. So it was a realization that I've that I've been coming to. You know, life doesn't have a manual. You, it takes time to figure these things out. And you can read a million books and not get anything from it because 
Everyone is different. What works for one person will not work for another person. And you can't tell them that they're doing it wrong because it worked for you. You have to find your own thing that works. And for me, that thing has to change every now and then. <laughs> I, I, it's just the way it is. It's just the way it is with me. I'll do a technique, it'll work for a while, and then it'll, it'll, it will stop working. So then I have to find a new technique. For this one, for the sense of overwhelm that I've been feeling, I just thought, I'll just do this. So these are the ones that I've done. Exercise is really important too. It's been lacking lately. I haven't, because of the weather, I've been using that as an excuse not to go out. But it's no excuse because I can exercise inside. And I think that contributes to a lower state of mental health not exercising so that's definitely definitely I've put an asterisk here because exercise is definitely important for mental health so this is how for now I'm tackling the sense of overwhelm so what I did this morning was I clipped this so all you can see all you can see is the one thing it's just one thing all right so I cross that off go on to the next thing what well, these are just chores so this is the thing that I had had it on prep for show and tell which is what I'm doing right now after this one I might go on to I might go on to one of these two I don't know yet because I have been working all morning this has actually allowed me to work all morning since nine o'clock which is amazing so that's what I've been doing I did make a few posts on Instagram and threads my Instagram account is pretty stagnant and threads I haven't I haven't figured threads out so that's why I've just been posting the more casual stuff on threads the more conversational things that would be where I would put if I want if I thought that something in my diary could be useful for someone else threads is where I'll post that so what I'm going to do this week is I'm going to do more anatomy studies and more painting and I want to get into starting with oils because remember my goal was to do oil painting I do have a couple of acrylic paintings that I had prepared previously which I do want to do, but it's not part of my roadmap. So um, I'll show you. So these were the acrylic paintings that I was going to do. And they're just in the prep stages. A self-portrait of me when I got my laptop. <laughs> I was super happy. Um, and Jonesy, because I haven't... Haru is on my wall, but Jonesy's not. So Jonesy deserves to be there too. These are not part of my path, my journey, but they are something that I do want to do. So like I said, I wanted to start making some roadway into actually painting with oils. So instead of using a canvas and being really precious about it, I've got these, I just cut up. Wow, that's an old one. <laughs> that's an old one. Um, it's from the cat food box. Yes, yeah, so these will be what I will be painting on with my oil paintings. A pizza this was actually really yummy pizza <laughs> I can't find it in the stores anymore people <laughs> but yeah I found a different different brand that's nice um, yes yeah, so I'm just reusing these bits of scrap even this this is just from the a photo frame even this is usable and I made my I made a homemade gesso that's clear that I am going to use so I figured if I start my oil painting on just these, because I've got tons of this stuff. I've been collecting this stuff for ages thinking, oh yeah, this is what I'm going to paint on. And for years I've been collecting this, obviously, because there's cat food, the cat food one that's there. Um, so I've got plenty, plenty of these to paint through. And these are throwaways. I probably won't throw them away, but these are things that will be stored in, in a box and will be thought of as just being part part of my journey part of the process I'm going through to be able to paint with oil <clears throat> so that's my plan that is my plan so this week I want to use one of these and I want to paint in oil on it now what am I going to paint I might just do a value study or I might do an anatomy study but do it in oil paint just to get used to now this is just to get used to painting with oil because I haven't done it in a long time since I don't know there's a video that goes back a long way away on my channel I think that was a couple of years ago now <laughs> the time just goes so quickly and those were my last initial attempts at oil painting 
obviously I'm out of practice of actually doing the actions because it's the actions that will get me to where I want to go. It's not the planning, it's the actions. The actions will get, it, well it's both, but the actions are so vital and the action is what has been missing. So I need to think of it as just practicing doing the actions. These are just, these are just um, practice runs. These are just practice runs. So it doesn't matter if it's bad. Obviously, if I keep painting bad, I'll, I'll feel bad about it and I'll have to work through that somehow. But if that happens, then I it'll be part of my documenting my journey. You'll know about it. I will tell you also how I will overcome because I'm not going to give up. Unless something drastic happens in my life, I'm, I won't give up this path for at least six months. And that's comforting to know as well. So that's it. Oh, actually, well, not quite because I haven't really made a declaration of what I'm going to do this week. So this week, I do use a lot of post-it notes. So this week, let's find something to write on. Make my declaration so I can show it on the screen next time. All right, I'm going to use this. So it is to start. At least one oil painting. Now the painting can be whatever it is, but to put oil paint to cardboard. Um, what else? Let's do four pages. This is a big this is a big ask because of my ask, not ask, although I do have one of those. Um, four pages of anatomy studies. And what else? Three color studies. Now the color studies, the focus for this color studies, um, Oh, if it's not lawn mowing, it's sirens or hoons. God almighty. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. All right. So for the three, for the color studies, I need to be more specific about my goals for the color studies this week. So the color studies is to not, let's just put not be perfect. I think that's a good goal for a color study. Um, obviously, colours. But what about the colours do I want to work on? Let's see. I just think mixing as accurately as I can. And the last thing about the colour studies is practice brush work. And this is something I can do in my oil painting as well, in both, and I can see how each compare to each other. So this is for this week. We'll call we'll call this because this is an official week. Well, it's week two, isn't it? It'll be next week, and we'll see. We'll compare and we'll see how we go. Hopefully, that can help anyone viewing these videos. Um, not to follow my path exactly, but hopefully it might give you what the reason why I'm putting these out there is because it might give you an insight into your own workings and how to get through some of your own challenges with your art or with anything. It could be applied to anything in life at all. So that's the end of the first episode. It's a little bit all over the place, but as I keep doing them, these weekly roundups, as I get better at structuring these videos, hopefully they'll they'll come across a little bit better, but yeah. If you made it this far, congratulations. Congratulations. You have the patience of a saint and I thank you immensely. If you want to see more of these videos, consider subscribing. Um, I do like to see each person that subscribes because it makes me think that I've reached someone and maybe I've shown someone something of an insight or there's something that they can use in their own lives. So I do enjoy that. Uh, my videos are usually like this for anyone new that's watching. I'm a little bit all over the place and 
you either get used to it or you click off the video. <laughs> Those are your choices. Um, I'm not going to force you. <laughs> I can't anyway. Um, so, yeah. All right. I will catch you next time, next week, for the next weekly roundup, and we'll see how we did. Goodbye, everybody. Take care.